Welcome back. In this video, I shape the keel to the boat. And for the most part, I follow the exact same steps that Dan Lee used in the quarter scale build, but I do have a few tricks of my own since I'm not that handy with a, a wood plane. So let's get to it. And be forewarned, this is a messy job. While I follow the same four steps as Dan Lee, I break up steps three and four to work with my power tools. So first thing I'm gonna do is a nice center line down the middle of this keel that we can keep as our reference so that we know uh, where we're at as we bevel each side off. So let's get that cleaned up first. Given the 24 foot length of the full size temptress, I decided to mark my center line with a laser as a guide. The center line is drawn, but it's important to remember that as we plane away material, we'll have to keep redrawing the center line. Okay, so what we need is markers on each of these frame stations uh, to give us the shape that the keel needs to, to follow. And there's a couple of ways that we can do that, and uh, I'm probably gonna use a combination of both, actually. So I can draw a line along the edge of the keel in the same way that we did with the stringer. And we'll do that just by running a baton along it. So I'm gonna get a line drawn on the side of the keel next. Because I had so much excess epoxy, I mark the side of my keel with a permanent marker. And yes, I do plan to clean up the epoxy at a later date. But we can also cut notches into this keel and effectively project this line of the frame up and through the keel um, on both sides of the frame and that's going to give us our shape so that when we're actually planing down we've got a little guide in each of these stations to um, to show us what's going on a little uh, sort of early warning stopping mark effectively so a combination of the two will keep uh, the the line on the side of the keel in sight the same way that we did on the stringer we want to keep the, um, the center line here and that will probably involve us having to remark the center line at several stages because we're going to cut a lot of this away. So what I'm going to do here is just transpose the line of this frame up and through the keel so that we've got a, a continuation of this line basically up through this keel section on both sides. I'm just going to use a little handsaw to do that and I'm just going to cut a slot and I'm going to do this on the aft face of the frame because the forward face of this frame is going to come down particularly in these uh, this forward section of the boat these are going to bevel in as well so the aft face of this frame is our control frame so that is the what guides the uh, size the finished size of this frame and the forward edge is going to come in that's going to happen with all these frames so we'll cut a little slot just uh, just on that section Here is where I begin to deviate from Dan Lee. What I start to do is rough power plane the keel so that at every frame the keel is only three quarters inch or less above the frame surface.
I then cut a three quarter inch MDF board to use as a spacer underneath my track saw. This will allow me to use the track saw to cut the guides in the keel at the aft side of each frame. Okay, so we've got all of our marks in place now. We've got a, a V-shaped notch cut in with the saw at each frame station. We've got a side line on the edge of the keel and we've got a center line in the middle as well. So we can start to rough out some material now and um, get a little bit closer with that. So um, let's make a start on doing that. So as I'm working this bevel down, because I've got a line on the center and on the edge, I can sort of follow that with my bevel. So I want to sort of keep equal distance from each of those at the same time. And I know that as I start to build that bevel, I'm going to be following where I need to end up. Now in some sections of the boat, there is going to be quite a lot of material to remove here. And uh, you're going to want to rip this down fairly quick. So if I was doing this on the full size boat, I think I'd be using a power plane at this time to just rip that material off until we start to get a little bit closer. I completely agree with Dan. The power planer is a must. And if I could make one more suggestion, a cordless power planer would be even better. Notice that the center line gets planed away and must be redrawn regularly. I should have been a bit more careful as I ended up power planing the transom frame. At this point, I stopped working with the power planer and moved on to a belt sander because the power planer was just a bit too aggressive. As you can see, there are still high spots along the keel that need to be lowered and the center line needs to be improved. 
At this point, I've gone about as far as I'm comfortable with the power planer. And as you get to the point, I keep losing my center pencil line. So what I've done is I've put a vertical laser down the center of the boat from the stem all the way to the stern. And as you can see, I'm close, but I don't perfectly have the center line. So I'm gonna use a belt sander now to finish up the sanding. I, my notches show I have a little bit deeper to go in a few areas here. And every time that the laser is showing on this side of the boat, I'm gonna sand in here to bring this down so that it goes right on the center. And when the laser line is over here, I sand on the opposite side. And I'm gonna just, this isn't gonna be the final one, but this will be my, the end of, I'll just call it rough shaping the keel. I'll, at a later stage, use a fairing board before I plank the bottom of the boat. So, wish me luck. This belt sanding process alone took about 45 minutes. I would estimate that I've got about five hours of real straight work put into shaping the keel. At this point, I'm satisfied with the shape and the center line of the keel. Notice that the guide cut on frame 13 still remains. That's because when I bonded the keel, I realized that frame 13 was too low and I'll have to raise the planks with thickened epoxy. That will do it for shaping the keel. Till next time, cheers.